everyone, welcome to my channel. So I have my pink parcel unboxing for the month of April. Can we believe that we're in April already? Like, it's crazy. I can't, I can't. Um, mostly because this is my last month of uni and, well, kind of. I'll be working up until August on my book, but I'm kind of terrified. I'm not ready to be like, no, I'm not ready for the real world. That makes me sad. Anyway, so if you're new here, hi, I'm Tash McZombie. Thank you for checking into my video. And my Pink Parcel Bond boxings are Pink Parcel is a monthly subscription service that is catered towards, it's like a period subscription service. So how it works is you get it once a month and you cater it to fit around you and your personal needs in your period. So you can choose from pads, tampons, you can choose what size, what brand, all of that good stuff. And you get sent it every month and it costs, well I think it's gone up, I think it's £12 a month now. I will double check and I'll put that in the description box below. Um, I know it hasn't gone up for me because I was like an existing subscriber. Um, but I do pay for this myself, I pay for this with my own money, I don't get sent this for free or anything like that. I just like unboxing them on my channel. So I really like Pink Parcel because it does actually save me a lot of money. Um, it means I never run out of period products um, because that was always a problem I had. I would never buy enough and never be prepared because I have a really irregular period. Um, so I'd be like, I swear to God, it's, I sink with any woman who comes into my periphery. Hey, I text my best friend at a month because I, I had two periods in a month because I hung out with her for two days and she got hers and then I got mine and I was like, I'm raging. My uterus just likes to think with women I'm around. So that's why I like this because I get it at the start of the month and you get more than enough to last you a month um, so you never run out. And I've, I've spoken to people who have cancelled their subscription and they're like a year later, they still have tons of period products. Um, you know, so I like that. I like that you do actually save money because I was spending a fortune on pads every month so that's why i like it but the best part of it i'm not just gonna sit and unbox tampons with you all is that you do get a box filled with goodies every month to treat yourself to make yourself feel better on your period so usually these have makeup skincare hair care we've had jewelry in the past we've had socks you always get a tea sample once we had a coffee sample and you always get like a sweet treat so whether it's a chocolate a meringue a like cereal bar so you always get a tea sample and a sweet treat usually chocolate based and then usually it's filled with skincare hair care or makeup i prefer when we get makeup products just because i love makeup um i'm very passionate about makeup and this is a good way for me to try new brands of makeup and it's also definitely got me thinking more about skincare and trying lots of different new skincare options so that's why i like it so yes so but before we get into the unboxing i just want to show you a couple of things that i got i was gonna maybe do like an April favourites at the end of the month. I may still do that because I really enjoy watching those videos, seeing what people have got. But this stuff just arrived today and I have to show you my new shoes. Um, so as you can tell by the pink box, I have a new pair of Iron Fist shoes and I got these for work. I love Iron Fist shoes. I have gone through two pairs of their fugs. I had a Care Bear pair and I've currently got the Misfits ones and they're the comfiest shoes in the world. I also have a pair of pumps that are really cute. They've got cupcakes on them. They're adorable. So I mean, at my work, we have to wear all black and I was wearing black trainers for a while, but then I noticed no one else wears trainers and then the manager did say, actually trainers are not part of the uniform along with jeans i didn't know this um but it's fine because the trainers still go to use because i wear them at the gym so i decided to buy a pair of black shoes for work and these are in the sale um iron fist have a 70 percent off everything sale at the moment at least i think it's still going i don't know i got these in the sale nonetheless and they are these and they are beautiful look i have like a jelly insole in them i already put that in in case you're like what is that in the shoe because they're like my feet get really sore standing because i have a retail job so obviously I'm on my feet all day. So I really like that they're kind of like chunky platform kind of shoes. I mean, personally I prefer if it was like a straight flat platform just because it's a bit better for your feet. But I don't mind. 
So I like that they're really chunky because I'm really short. And then I like that they're just kind of this plain black kind of slip on. You know, they don't look like anything like in your face gothic, which I like. But then you have this like big like bat buckle on the front. And I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but there's like these like black jewels on either end, which I think is really cool. So it's just like kind of subtle. So yeah, that's why I really like them because I think they're like subtle enough that they're just like plain black. But then, you know, they're also got like, as I said, this amazing like buckle detail on them, which I just think is really subtle and really cool. And I did want, they had another pair of Hey You Guys ones, which were a bit cheaper and they were lace-ups, but they didn't have them in my size. And they had like, they were just black, but they had like laces and then like a kind of shiny patented like two bones crossed over which I kind of preferred um I mean I got these in a size six and they're a little tight because usually I'm a size five but I find with iron fist I have to go up a size and these are a little tight but I don't know if it's just because of the material because it's a really stiff leather and I do feel like a size seven would have just been too big that they would have just fell off even with like an insole so I don't know. I'm going to like keep wearing them around the house today and see how I feel because I mean I put the jelly insoles in hoping it will help like because my feet still get sore even just wearing trainers and I know it's just I just need to get used to it but then I also don't want to get in trouble if like the big boss guy comes in and I'm like wearing trainers and everyone else is in like smart black shoes. Um. So yeah my new work shoes which I love plus they're the kind of shoes I would wear all the time because I just wanted a pair of plain black shoes and then I also got for work from the Disney shop my own mug so I was in the Disney shop the other day and I saw that they had these mugs so and I fell in love so they had this one rescue rangers if any of you were a 90s kid you will remember this on the Disney channel they also had Darkwing, 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 I kind of vaguely remember him and then they also had Tailspin which I totally forgot existed and I loved Tailspin but I have to admit I did prefer Rescue Rangers like Chip and Dale were my faves and not everyone at work has, like I work in a tea shop so of course I need my own mug, we're allowed to drink tea or coffee or whatever on the shop floor which is amazing um and a few people like my best friend who works there she has her own mug she's like don't use my mug and another girl has her own mug so I don't know if other people have their own mug but I kind of felt a little left out I was like I want my own mug because I love mugs so and I love this and I even love like inside it you can see it's got like the rescue rangers logo like embellished on the inside and then it has it on the bottom as well and I just love this I mean this was such a hard choice between this one and tailspin but he was my favourite, like these two characters here, which I've forgotten their names, which is really bad. If you remember their names, comment below. But like I love Chippendale and I like the size of this because I have a lot, like I find with Disney mugs they're quite tall. And I don't like that because like I leave my tea to cool down and drink it. So I quite like short mugs. Plus like I kind of feel like I can hold it a bit easier. Like it's ergonomically pleasing. So I thought I would just like show these because... I'm excited about my new mug and my new shoes for work because I'm really sad. Okay, so let's actually get into what we want to talk about here, which is the Pink Parcel unboxing. So, opening it up, this is what it looks like. Just dropping everything. So, you get your Pink Parcel post, which um, tells you everything that you get inside your box. It's kind of just spoiled, like one thing for me because it's on the back but um which I like that they've like just started doing these new designs because before they were just plain they like that they're getting a bit creative with them and we also have a voucher maybe or is it just an advertisement oh no it's a 15% discount off the tea we'll obviously get this month which is available detox green tea and vitamins called tea plus so you can get this at Holland and Barrett, Ocado in Boots and online. And it's also Vegan Society certified, if that's something that appeals to you. So this is the box here. So I'll quickly just go through. You get like a bag filled with your pads or towels that the design of this is to pop into your handbag for when you're on the go, just to keep it 
because period shaming is still a thing. I hate to say, like, to keep it discreet in your handbag. Well, at least it keeps it all together and it's just handy. And I quite like that they've changed the packet to this pink with, like, the drops on it. I think it's just quite nice. Plus, you can, like, reuse them for lots of things, which I do. And then you get your box filled, which is called for later. And this is, like, designed so you keep it in your bathroom, like, on your bathroom shelf, so you have them to hand. And then you also get your nighttime products, whichever ones you prefer. So that's always handy, I like that. And then the bit that we're actually gonna unbox here is the For You box. So this is what's filled with all the goodies. It feels quite light this month, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I said that last month, and it was very deceptive, last month was amazing. I've been using that rose oil every day on my face, and it's so good. If you, and the lipstick we got last month was really nice. If you want me to do like an update on the products I get in Pink Parcel, like testing them out, telling you what I thought of them, like let me know because I'm more than happy to do that. I've seen like um Cassie on for thick. I love her. She started doing that like with her boxy charms and Sephora plays and whatnot. Like actually putting the product on her face and like giving them like an on spot review. If that's something you'd be interested in, I don't think I would do that, but like at least like give an update on what I thought of the products. I'm more than happy to do that. So let's get into it. I've no idea what we have. Okay. Um so this is we're going to do that one first. I'm like looking at it like it looks empty but then I'm also seeing lots of like full size looking products that makes me happy. So first off we have this lip scrub by Jelly Pong Pong which is the same brand of that lipstick pencil we got last month which was this one. I'm broke so ignore the wonkiness of it but it's the same brand and I do really like this brand and I love lip scrub. So this one is coffee and coconut. Also, they have such adorable packaging. So we've got like a little bike here. Kind of thought like French village kind of theme. Like French cafe kind of going on. So it says, hello, we love hearing from you at Jelly Pong Pong underscore on Instagram. So that's always nice. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like a vegan cruelty free. Yep, it's vegan, no mineral oil, no parabens, no phthalates, no gluten. It's hypoallergenic and non comedogenic. Although vegan doesn't necessarily mean it's cruelty free, but I'm assuming it is. It's formulated in Italy, packaging made in China. So, God knows. And this is it here. So, it is a really. It is cruelty free, it says so on the bottom. And then this is the lid. It will focus. So it's quite nice. I like the pink and it's coffee and coconut. It'll be interesting. I don't drink coffee, but I like the smell. And it has got like a safety seal. I don't want to open it yet just because I have a lip scrub open at the moment. I have a Jeffree Star one open and it's lasting me forever. So I don't want to open it yet, but it looks just like a really good like sugar scrub. And you get uh, 10 mils. So that's exciting because I really like lip scrubs. But as I said, I'm using one right now. So I don't want to open this yet. Because I don't want it to like go bad. So, and I love the packaging. So excited about that. Okay, let's get the tea and chocolate out of the way. <laughs> okay, so our chocolate sample is tiny. So, but it's orange milk chocolate. Which makes me excited because I love orange. And chocolate this isn't vegan because it does contain dairy and it contains soya but it seems to be gluten-free which is great and in the tea I got is this multi lemon and peach green tea vitamins the smart tea so it sounds quite nice I like green tea and I like lemon and peach and green tea never had them together so be interested to try that so that's our tea and chocolate so moving on to this big tube Ooh, so this is by Green Frog Botanic and it is the natural body wash. It's a really good size. So this is cruelty free, it's vegan and it's palm oil free, which is really good because palm oil is really bad. So it just says squeeze into your hands, massage and lather and rinse, thoroughly avoid contact with eyes. So this is relaxing geranium and peppermint plant, plant based using organic soap berries sourced from the Himalayas interesting i do need a new body wash and this is a really good size because i started going to the gym so this is a really good size to like fit in my gym bag so that's nice oh that smells 
that smells really good and the fact it's like mm, it smells tasty the geranium smells really nice i love the smell of geranium and i love minty products so because it's minty this will be quite cooling so that would be really good for after the gym so that i'm excited about moving on to this Ooh, so this is the beauty pro eye therapy under eye mask so they're like these little under eye little masks and you leave it on for 20 minutes Um, it doesn't say what its cruelty free status is. It's made in Korea, so it's a Korean skincare treatment, which is nice. So this is made with collagen and green tea and it's a single use product. So that's exciting. I don't really get like bags under my eyes. Occasionally I do. So I will keep this for like if I'm ha if I really need them, but which I probably will. So that is nice. So, so far we've got a lip scrub, got a body wash, some under eye bags. So we've got two products left. So I'm going to go on to this. Ooh, oh, yes. This is what I need because I actually need a new mascara. So this is by the Beauty Crop. We've had products by them before. I don't have it to hand. We had like a free trio eyeshadow, which I put in my gym makeup bag because it's easy. So this is the Beauty Crop. Fabulous flocking lashes made nourished with argan oil and hoba. This is a waterproof mascara and it's cruelty free. Their beauty crops are really nice to use, like lots of good stuff in their products. And I saw I think it was T and S, like Eleventh Gorgeous were doing an unboxing and they got this. I think it was them. I'm not entirely sure. They do the best packaging nonetheless. Their packaging is always adorable and this is really good because I actually need a new mascara because I have too many that are open. I know you're not supposed to keep them for more than like three months or something. My L'Oreal Last Paradise is totally dried out and that makes me sad. And I have too many that are open right now and I'm just about to open this but I do need a new one. So yes, this is the Fabulous Flocking Lashes. So this is the packaging here. It's like a squishy tube. This is interesting because I've never used like a squeezy mascara tube before. Ooh, and this is the one. Wow, it's massive. That's a massive wand. And it's like really swirly. Ooh, okay. I'm interested. I like that it's a squeezy tube. Because I kind of feel like you never get all your product out of mascara. So that's interesting. And I love the packaging. I love... It's adorable. So excited about that. And then our last product... Oh, no! Haha! -ha! We got two chocolates! Yay! secret chocolate surprise chocolate is this catherine malandrino style de paris oh it's a perfume so we have another perfume we got a perfume a few months ago that i really like i've nearly used up it was called english laundry and it was a really nice perfume it's really light so perfume is quite a new thing for us to be getting in pink parcels i know some people don't like getting perfume um, like when I watch like people do like, we don't get Sephora in the UK, which sucks. So when I watch people do their Sephora plays and moan that they get perfume samples, I'm like, bitch, I love perfume. But I like that. Ooh, wow, look at that bottle. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Ooh, so this is the Catherine Maladrino Style de Paris is obviously the name. I already have a perfume on my wrist, so I'll spray it here. Oh, that's really nice. That's mm. oh, it reminds me of another perfume. Um, oh, I want to say it's kind of citrusy. So that's it there. So going through the little leaflet. Where is it? Here we go. So let's actually talk about the products and what they are. So starting with the tea. So this is the Tea Plus Multi Tea Lemon and Peach Tea. It's packed full of nine essential daily vitamins, equating to 50% of your daily allowance. Um, this is a really super tea, a tasty and refreshing start to your day. So this cost £3.69 for a box of 15. And you can buy this at teaplusdrinks.com. And then we have the, this is a full size product, the Jelly Pong Pong Lip Scrub. I love that we're actually getting a lot more like full size products now rather than samples. There was like one month like last year, we just got tons of samples of like rubbish. And I 
can say that because like 90% of the time pink parcel is amazing, 10% of the time it's not. But I like that we're getting full size products that equate to more than what you pay. So use this coffee and coconut lip scrub infused with pure golden sugar, jojoba and rosehip oil to turn your lips silky soft. So this costs £15, which I think is the same as what the Jeffree Star one costs. So it's about the same for 10 mils and you can buy this at jellypongpong.com. So this itself costs more than what you paid for your box. So already you're getting more than your money's worth just with the lip scrub. Okay, so... The, right here we go oh okay so it seems to be either you would have got a beauty crop eyeliner or a mascara so if you subscribe to pink parcel let me know did you get the eyeliner or the mascara so you could have got the beauty crop wing woman liquid eyeliner which is a full size and the mascara is a full size so that's two full size products you're getting already so the eyeliner cost would have cost £13 and you can buy it at pinkparcel.co.uk slash shop. So if you did get the liner, it's an easy to create precise lines with this eyeliner pen. It's smudge proof and it's made with argan oil, licorice and blackberry. And that's the Wing Woman eyeliner there, which I didn't get. So I got the Beauty Crop Fabulous Flocking Lashes. So this costs £15, which is quite expensive for a mascara, but hopefully it's good. Although I say that, like, drugstore prices are kind of creeping up to that anyway. For a fluttering look, call Eat Lash, each lash in Beauty Crop's intensely black clump-free formula that surrounds each hair in a firm film of mascara is water-resistant, smudge-free and conditioning too. So I'm really excited and this is a full size. Then we have the Cocoba Organic Milk Chocolate. Um, go on, indulge in two squares of orange milk chocolate designed exclusively for the Pink Parcel Squad. Melt in your mouth, delightful. These pocket-sized treats won't be in your pocket for long. Bespoke to Pink Parcel subscribers, shop the range at CocoBadChocolate.com. Um... Sorry, the way this is like laid out, my breast are rest of the products. Here we go. So, this is the Green Frog Botanic Body Wash. So, this is a sample size. So, for the full size, it would cost you $8.95 for 30 mils. And you can buy this at pinkparcel.co.uk slash shop. So, lather the combination of moisturizing aloe vera calming geranium and cooling peppermint oil onto your skin for deeply conditioning gentle cleanse so that's really nice the picture they show you is in like a plastic bottle so i think if you get a full size that's how it would look so the the Catherine Mal Malandrino Style de Paris Purse Spray. This would cost you £16 for 8 mils. You can buy this at pinkparcel.co.uk slash shop. So spritz the notes of ruby red grapefruit. I knew it was citrus. Nashi pear, orange blossom and gardenia on your pulse points. Enjoy this fresh floral scent. And I have to admit it really is like florally and citrusy. It's lovely. And then the Beauty Pro Eye Therapy Under Eye Mask. These cost four ninety five for a pack of three, and you can buy these at pinkparcel.co.uk slash shop. So rich in marine collagen, green tea, aloe vera, and vitamins A and E, place masks under your eyes to relieve dark circles and tired, puffy eyes. So yes, this is a very beauty thing box i love the perfume and i love the travel size because it's really handy just to pop in your handbag i am super excited about the mascara because i really like the beauty crop i love the packaging and i did need a new mascara so as much as i love liquid liner i'm kind of glad i got the mascara instead i think i would have preferred that just because i don't need liner right now i've been using the nyx epic ink and i don't need it but i did need a mascara so i'm glad I'm excited to try the lip scrub. Coffee and coconut seems like an interesting mix, so I don't know if I like it, but I'm excited to try it. I love that it's a full size. I love that it's a full size mascara as well. Um, the body wash can always do a body wash. So, I mean, I'm excited about it. Like, yay. And the same with the under eye masks. They're probably the two products that I'm like, yay. My, I, I don't hate them, 
but I'm not like as excited like for the mascara and the lip scrub and the perfume and then the chocolate sounds amazing I love milk chocolate with orange and the tea sounds really nice as well I can never go wrong with a cup of tea so yeah I love that we got like two full-size makeup products I love that we got perfume body wash eye treatment tea and chocolate I say this was a really really good mop, mop box um I'm really excited that perfume smells so good let me know down below if you like that perfume and if you like these kind of travel size bottles because I like these more than like tiny tiny samples Wait, I have a couple of like I got sent these from a friend but like these tiny like perfume ones like you get an Avon and stuff I prefer I know I keep talking about oh I pop it in my gym bag but I do like we go to the gym like every week so it is handy like especially if I'm going to work after to have like makeup or perfume to hand and I did need a new body wash so this is nice so yeah I'm really excited about this month's box so as I said comment down below let me know if you got the liner or the mascara I'd like to know if the liner is any good because it's the beauty crop Stephanie brand that I've become to like um I think we all got the same lip scrub but let me know what products you liked what products you didn't in, in your pink parcel this month what you thought and yeah um I hope you're all having a great day whatever you're up to it is well it stopped snowing here and the snow's trying to melting so I'm not sure what we're gonna do still an Easter break for us over here but anyway I hope you're all keeping well if you're new here and you'd like to be hit that subscribe button down below and then hit that notification bell next to it so you're notified every time I upload videos because that's what you have to do on YouTube these days and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it really really helps me out anyway I will see you all later and I will post all the details in the description box if it's not up straight away just be patient because I am quite slow at updating it sometimes but anyway see y'all later bye